Okay, yeah, tubers. Quick update. Again, it's really out of here. Um, I've got one day left of this um, thermal camera, so I'm not going to be able to do the test that I wanted to do. So I've hooked up both battery banks. And this one, let me just tell you, this, this mount is awesome. I love it. There's no movement in any of the cells. It just, it's rock solid. And a truck try, decides to drive past. So I got all my new cables in. This is down to the old mount and it's quite evident the difference between the quality of the two. All the cables are done, nice heavy cables, everything's buttoned up and tidied. Um, I haven't balanced this pack, this is just how it is. Um, and that goes all the way back to the inverter. Got, I am not doing a live motion, I'm not doing a live feed today. So what have we got? Um, <coughs> Is the inverter turned on? The inverter's turned on. Got 28.6 volts. So it's not completely fully charged. We'll take this laptop out. This little camera here. Uh, turn the breaker off and turn the switch on. That should come on. What have we got? There we go and set that to I can't even read it from here unfortunately okay so it's doing nine nine hundred watts I actually want to take that I don't want to do a 900 watt test. I want to do a three or 400 watt test. Okay, 383. Did you see that? Uh, I moved everything. I had to move everything around. Okay, so 383. So that's what it's drawing. Um, that camera there is recording. So I'm going to have a good thing, a good record of what I'm doing. Uh, move this out of here. Let's make it look a little bit professional, shall we? So the test rig is up and running. I still got a huge small cable. Um, it's nice and thick. Still got heaps more ends. So and they're a cool pair of tools. Geez, they make cut the cable easy. Um, hydraulic crimper makes it a little bit easier as well. So I'm going to run this test through. I am going to suggest this test is going to take several hours, probably 10 or so. And I'll upload this now and you, everyone put below, what do you reckon the output of this is going to be? Remembering I got 5.1 out of that at a, what was it? Four hours at 1000 watts and then another 10 or so hours at 100 watts so and that one's a little bit less um, capacity or a lot less capacity so I'm gonna say I'll say 11 kilowatt hours what do you reckon chuck it below also I want to know where he's all from put below how many kilowatt hours you think it's gonna produce and where you live and where you're from and I will put all the results initially up on Facebook. So if you want an early result, look on Facebook. And this time tomorrow, I'll post the results on to um, YouTube. Anyway, guys, I'm very excited for this test again. We're all at two minutes into it. 383 watts. It's a bit hard to see. I wonder if I can... There you go. Three minutes into it. 383 watts and I can do amps now that's kilowatt hours 1.68 amps cool okay I'm gonna leave that test run we're gonna know by this little timer here at the bottom the little three at the bottom how long the test actually run for 
So let's do this. Cheers, guys.